Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's up, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today, guys, we're gonna be talking about the truth of multiverses because I'm tired of seeing these videos from people that have less than 100 hours in the game or just was not in the community misinforming people in their videos about the game, about how the beta title was a fake, how there was no content for months, how WB didn't care for the game and they were just letting it shut down because they wanted to or because they can. So. I think it's time for y'all to hear from someone that's actually been in the community since the beginning until now and going to continue supporting them. The true story of multiverses, whether was it a money grab or did it just get popular too fast? And let's get straight into the video. So I'm going to straight up start off this with no, multiverses was not a cash and grab game. Why would you cash and grab game in a free to play game that's live service and the only way you're going to get make money is off of cosmetics, which as you play the game, if you truly play the game, you knew there wasn't that much, at least at the beginning. The reason why Multiverse had a slow startup and upbringing, at least content wise and, you know, characters and all this stuff that people have been saying is because they didn't have a big team. Um, one, Warner Brother did not make the game. They are the publishers. I have to say that because a lot of people don't know that. PFG, play your first game. That is the team that is making Multiverses. They had to go through Warner Brothers for the characters and et cetera and stuff and cosmetics and all that stuff. But player first game is the actual devs of the um, game multiverses. Player first game only had about 10 devs at the start of multiverses, three of them being coders and the seven of them about being managers slash GFX people. You can go check their page, but pretty much, yeah, that was the team size back then. So for 10 people, that was very impressive of them, how they made multiverses. But overall for a game, not so much, right? Um, and people just saw it as a triple-A game made by Warner Brothers, which was not true. And I know a lot of y'all are probably saying, well, Bugs, Warner Brothers has a lot of money. Why didn't you just throw it at PFG to go fix the game and make it better? Well, one, that's not how it works. You got to get devs and screening to get them, make sure they're good and da-da-da-da. And then on top of that, at the time when Multiverse was released, Warner Brothers was going through a lot with lawsuits, merges, a whole bunch of stuff. So not saying they didn't care about their new game Multiverses, but they had a lot on their plate before they worried about their new product that they just dropped versus their old product and millions and bajillion dollars that they could possibly lose. <laughs> so, and then on top of that, here's a clip from MVD pretty much kind of explaining how PFG um, runs their um, team. And yeah, here you go. The guys at Player First Games, Tony and his very, very small group of people. Yeah. I gotta stress that. The, the group of the team is very Ooh. small. Yeah. So a lot of things that happened during like its release, cause it was still, you know, in, uh, beta or whatever it was an open beta right for the entirety of its uh longevity when it was out it was never a complete product and people kind of failed to realize that uh and then on top of that like i said very small group of people working on it so all of the bugs and issues and things that would happen that we would get feedback on you know they work on it as fast as they can but again small group yeah it, it takes time for them small indie company yeah good people very <laughs> right. good people you know they had the resources and everything i don't think they didn't have a, a larger group because of lack of funding or anything like that i think they just had a very very specific vision and the people that they wanted to work and touch on their project had to share that vision right and if it wasn't in sync tony was very much like it's not a, it's Does not, it's not gonna work with us not gonna right, line right. up like I'd rather have my group of, let's just say like 10 super dedicated people that all see the vision as opposed to 50 people where 30 to 40 of them aren't 100% on board or in sync with them. I feel that. Cause that can cause more problems and make things no, really yeah. more. I'm happy that PFG kind of sees it like this because it lets us know that they are passionate about the game and not just like, oh, we could do the job and get paid. He 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 he. No, they truly care about the product. They truly care about multiverse and they want this to be like a, for everything for them. You know, they really want to put their all into this versus, oh, you can do the work, but I don't care. I'm gonna do the bare minimum. No, they want people that's working hard and dedicated and want to push this out. And I love to hear that, man. And now we're at the start of multiverses. And when I said no one, and I mean no one, not even the dev team would have expected this, but those numbers at the beginning was absurd. 153,000 people alone on PC. We're not even talking about Xbox and PlayStation. You already know console numbers are always triple the number. And those are two different platforms. So triple the numbers in PlayStation, triple the numbers on Xbox. You know those numbers went crazy. 
And th I think that's what made the servers went pretty shit, as y'all all saw. The servers were pretty bad to play on, um, if you truly played the game, like I said. Um, and then, on top of that, characters were very um, imbalanced at the beginning, and then characters had a lot of bug issues, and then the game had a lot of bug issues, where you would just randomly explode, consoles wasn't loading in time um, with everybody else. There was a lot of issues with the game. And to backtrack a little bit, Tony literally said before the game even released, sadly this wasn't publicized um, enough, but he literally said, hey, we want this open beta to be open all the way to the release of the game if there was no issues. And as I just said, and again, if you truly play multiverses, you knew there was a lot of issues. So that's why I think we could see the game, you know, closing in the future. But before we get into that, you know, over time, they did do their best um, with balancing the game, which I think the game definitely is in a way better state than it was at the release. Um, they got a decent amount of bugs um, fixed up. Still a lot of bugs, um, characters and etc. but nothing too crazy like it was at the beginning of the game. And yeah. Um, content wise, people were saying how there was no content. Brother Bear, there were two characters, uh, sorry, not two characters, a character every two weeks. Um, we got a, um, I want to say a map once a month and then they had their little events and stuff. Um, and then they dropped arcade. It took a long time with rank very unfortunately. And they had the silly queue mode. Unfortunately, I would definitely love to see more, but that's not what we're here to talk about. But yeah, content wise. Um, at the beginning, I don't think it was too bad, especially we're getting a character every two weeks. That's enough content. There's games that don't see a new character for six months, eight months, once a year type stuff. So I think people had to be a little bit more grateful on the content wise. Hopefully, sadly, it wasn't everywhere, but a new character, that's a lot to take in um, almost every two weeks, especially as a competitor. But yeah, so down the line, as y'all saw, the game started dwindling in player count, but they're still doing the updates, they're still doing their content and stuff. You saw EVO with their partnership with Sony, they did their own um, fall showdown, they did make a rain dog, you saw the lands. You know, again, if you were truly a fan of the game, you saw that stuff. Nothing was dying down. The real issue with the game was, it just didn't work. The concept of multiverses is amazing. It is literally Smash and Brawlhalla combined. Smash because of the IPs and then Brahalla because of the free-to-play aspect combined into one. Great IPs with a free-to-play game. There was no issues um, into that. But again, the game didn't work. There was issues on that stuff. So I think down the line, people kind of just wanted to cope and say it wasn't a beta, even though, again, when you wake up the game, <gasps> multiverses, there's going to be issues. Thank you for the journey. Thank you for being on this journey with us and etc. So in my opinion, was it sad to see that them closing the service down? Absolutely. But I think it was the best thing for them to truly do because of the state of the game. Not because of the player count going down, but because the game truly didn't work. And me and others definitely agreed after EVO, the game should have been an open beta pie for a month or two and they should have shut it down 100%. But I think player first game took this as a time to like gather feedback you know because this is their first time making a game they are veteran devs some are from um god of war some are from um riot game and stuff but this is their first time being in this fighting game genre and they had a lot to learn so i think they literally left the game open to truly learn you know on their own and stuff because you know they're not on a big team anymore they are their team so yeah and then again they were a small team they're only 10 devs and then finally the multiverses open beta finally closed down and then all the fake fans came out screaming oh my god my my battle pass oh my god my founder pack give me my money back refund 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 if you were a true fan or took one second to watch the video they literally said everything that you purchased for the game will be back on the actual release of the game again did they tell us that um the game was ever going to close down? No, but also they never said it wouldn't not close down because again, why? It was an open beta. But yeah. And also, if you're a true fan, you would know that you could still play the game. You could play the game offline. You grab some friends, like, hey, come over, play some multiverses. And if you have a PC, you can still play the game online, technically through Parsec, which a lot of us has been doing. And if you do want to um, know how to join that, I'll put that link in the description. You can join the Discord and come play with us. And guess what? Everything is unlocked right now, free. So if you've never purchased anything in multiverses and you've ever downloaded it, now you can play the game and play all the characters and all the skins and all the banners and all the knockout effects and everything. <laughs> but yeah, man. So. That was the story of multiverses, and now they are finally back, if you haven't noticed. Yes, they've tweeted out twice now so far, teasing the community with the new and improved multiverses with nothing, because they haven't shown us nothing. Um, but now they're being active again, and if you didn't know, there's also a McDonald's collab that's been going on in Canada, um, Australia, and I want to say a past one back in Europe, and then America should be getting it, I want to say, within a week from 
you know, from from the coming soon thing. I'm not sure how promotions works, but yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the catch up of multiverses and everything you should know about it. And yeah, leave a like on the video, comment anything. You know, I love y'all comments. And if it's your first time you watching one of my videos and you do enjoy multiverses content. Hit the subscribe button, guys, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA, cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find.